Hey YouTube, welcome back to the YouTube journey. Today I'm doing a little something that I've been meaning to do for a while and was requested to do and I'm finally sitting down and doing it. Today I'm going to be talking about a character in Kingdom Hearts I was requested to do a whole video on and I'm going to try and do my best to sum up everything that we know about him from my memory. <laughs> and I think I should probably do as much as I can to remember it all, but here we go. So, for those of you who don't understand the lore of Kingdom Hearts, or at least the sequence order of everything, just play them in order of when they came out, that's fine for playing them, but, um, they actually happen in a weird order. Um, so one happens, Chain of Memory happens, and then Kingdom Hearts 2 happens, but simultaneously, right before Kingdom Hearts 2 and during Chain of Memories, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days happens. And then right after that came Birth by Sleep. But Birth by Sleep actually happens about 10 years previous to Kingdom Hearts 1. And then there's Recoded, which takes place after Kingdom Hearts 2. And Dream Drop Distance, of course, takes place after Kingdom Hearts 2, a little after Recoded. And then, um, I mean, that's really the important ones for now that I'm going to talk about. But, so we actually have to go back to Birth by Sleep. Um, Birth by Sleep, which takes place 10 years before Kingdom Hearts, the original Kingdom Hearts happened. Um, you meet Terra, Ventus, and Aqua, and they are trained by Master Ericus. But they're also, during their test to become Keyblade Masters, um, there's also another Keyblade Master there, and his name is Xehanort. And I'm gonna do the video today on Xehanort, I was requested to do that. And maybe I'll do a few more videos about other characters in the series, but I've been requested to do this one on Xehanort, so I'm gonna focus on him. So. We meet him in that game. In the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, actually, we find out that Ericus and Xehanort, and I think we also find out in Birth by Sleep, but it's very much touched upon in the trailers, in one of the earlier trailers for Kingdom Hearts 3, that Ericus and Xehanort trained together as Keyblade wielders and slowly became masters. Um, and you find out more about how Xehanort looks up in the trailer to see what the Keyblade that he has in the game. And that Keyblade is very meaningful, and you learn out later in 2.8 that's an extremely meaningful Keyblade, and that it has a lot of secret meanings, and we really don't know exactly what yet, but we're slowly finding out a lot of things about it. So then, um, I'm gonna try and break this lore down as best as I can here, it's a little bit confusing. Okay. So, in Kingdom Hearts, when you're killed by a Heartless, which are the Shadow Monsters, things that you fight in Kingdom Hearts 1, when you're killed by one, they take your heart. Um, your heart becomes a heartless, and then the empty shell that's left over becomes a nobody. You learn about those in Kingdom Hearts 2. So the combination of those two things, um, if your nobody and your heartless are killed, you come back to life. But, and this is a very large but, oh, that's not a joke about butts or anything, but <laughs> we find out that, where was I going with this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so in Kingdom Hearts 1, you fight Ansem, or who you think is Ansem. In Kingdom Hearts 2, you find out that that is actually, or at least in Kingdom Hearts 2, that that person is not Ansem at all. You actually meet the real Ansem, and this other person was taking on his name and pretending to be him. Later on, you find out that that person is completely not Ansem, and I'll get a little bit more into that. So in Birth by Sleep, towards the end of the game, Xehanort realizes that he cannot continue his evil mission of what he wants to do, and he wants to cause another Keyblade War to form the X-Blade. I will call it the X-Blade, it's pronounced Ki, with, as in like the X symbol, it's technically pronounced Chi, I guess you could say, but I'm going to call it the X-Blade. Um, and in order for that to be formed, uh, 13 uh, people of darkness and seven people of light have to fight and then the blade will be forged and it's the true keyblade x blade and when that happens uh the worlds will be reset and he can make everything in whatever way he wants to with the x blade so he wants that to happen he wants that he wants to remake everything and destroy both light and darkness and kind of eliminate them both he says you cannot have light without darkness but without both we i can create a perfect world so that's really his goal in all of this. But, so he figures that he's old, he's old as heck. He's not gonna be able to finish this mission that he wants to do, he needs lots more time. So Terra, one of the three characters you play as in Kingdom Hearts 
Bolt's Birth by Sleep, um, he decides to take his body. He takes his Keyblade, he stabs it into his chest, and he slowly puts darkness into Terra throughout the game, before that happens, to make him a proper vessel to take over his body. He takes over Terra's body, and now Terra has Xehanort inside of him. Terra no longer has control over his body, and you now have to... I mean, now he's his own person. This Terra Xehanort person doesn't remember anything, has pretty much really no memory at first, or pretends to have no memory, but you find out that they actually did have memory this whole time. Um, and they become an apprentice to the real Ansem, and they are the person that pretends this whole time to be someone that they're not. They pretend to be Ansem. But you find out later that the person you fight in Kingdom Hearts 1 is not Ansem that we say that they are, they're the heartless of this fake Ansem or Terra slash Xehanort, this combined being. That's who it is. That's the main villain of the game, but you just call them Ansem because that's who they refer to themselves as. But it's all just, it's not true. <laughs> and then, in Kingdom Hearts 2, you fight Xemnas, who is Ansem's nobody. But you find out that isn't true either. That's just the Terra Xehanort nobody. So then, we move forward a lot more, because we go past a few games that kind of explain background in a little bit more, and we get to Dream Drop Distance. Now in Dream Drop Distance you find out that all of these, this new Organization 13 that is being created are all of these people who are Xehanort. You have Xemnas, you have Ansem, you have actual Xehanort. Then you have Xehanort from the past, so a young Xehanort. And then Xehanort is putting his being into other people. He's splitting himself into, he's basically fragmenting himself into 13 people to create his own 13 Seekers of Darkness for this Keyblade War that he wants to enact. But he's going to be all of them. It's really crazy <laughs> when you think about it. And it's a little bit mind-bending and trippy, but it's really cool. And... Um, you find out uh, Zigbar, which is one of the um, members of Organization, Organization 13 from Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, you find out that he has the eye patch over one of his eyes because the other eye is Xehanort. He's half Xehanort, which is crazy. And then you find out Saix, who's another member of Organization 13. He's a friend of Lee or Axel. They were like best friends before they became nobodies and before all of this happened. They were like best friends. You meet them in Birth by Sleep when they're younger and they're best friends. And he is also a member of this fake organization. I talked a little bit about that in the video a day or two ago when I was trying to figure out the, all the members of this new organization. But I mean, it's pretty crazy. And he had both his eyes were yellow, so he's part of Xehanort as well. Um, it's really, really awesome to be honest and to see all of this kind of coming together. And I know that a lot of people complain that Kingdom Hearts is like, well, it's obviously it's like it's so being written as it goes, but like they're doing a really good job with it. They've had me caught on since the first game and they've had a lot of other people caught on since the first game. I don't see a problem with writing story as you go, as long as you're doing a good job and you're covering all your tracks and you're doing really well with it. I can't complain about anything. Some people seem to complain about Dream Drop Distance kind of throwing a wrench in everything, but as long as you really pay attention, you know, and you, I mean, it's a fantasy game. So like, you have to you suspend disbelief, you know, you have to kind of be like, okay, well, of course, okay, they can time travel, they can do things like that. They're, sure, I mean, you gotta be willing to accept these things, right? I, why wouldn't you be? It's cool. <laughs> I wanted to do a few little predictions for what will happen with Xehanort and this whole fake organ or new organization, not fake, but new organization in Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, I mean, I guess it'll work kind of like the organization did in Kingdom Hearts 2, where you'll fight one for each world, maybe, and slowly will work your way to the end of the game, where you have to fight all of them, and I guess they're going to do a whole Keyblade War, and I've heard that... There was already a confirmed second playable character, which I'm pretty sure we were all guessing was Riku. But now there's a third confirmed, which could be, I mean, it could be Kyrie, it could be Axel slash Lee, it could be Ventus, it could be Roxas, it could be really anybody at this point. Um, playable, not party member, but playable. 
I'm guessing Riku is the second one. I mean, we've played as Riku before. We played as him in Chain of Memories. We played as him in Dream Drop Distance. I have a pretty strong feeling that the second playable character will be R Riku. It's just, it makes sense, I guess, you know? But, my goodness. This game is just like slowly piecing together more and more in my head, and I'm just so excited for it. And it's just so much that's gonna be wrapped up, because this is gonna wrap up this whole like Xehanort saga, basically, for the series. The series isn't over, but this is gonna wrap that whole overarching story of all of these games so far. It's all gonna be wrapped up in Kingdom Hearts 3, and I'm just so, so excited for it. And I can't believe all of these, what are we on, 15, 25, no, 15 or 20 years of, no, it has to be 15 now, right? We just celebrated 15, 15 probably. Yeah, so these 15 years of Kingdom Hearts that we've gone through is all leading up to this. And it's so exciting for me. And I'm so happy that I'm able to convey that to you guys. Because that's really what I've always wanted to do anyway. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Star Nari. You can call me Chris. I just want to thank my friend from work. I'm not going to name her by name because she doesn't want to be. But she was the one who requested me to do a video on Xehanort. I've been putting it off for a little while because I had a few ideas. And then I really didn't have ideas. And I didn't really have a time where I thought I could just sit down and record this. But I did it. And I really like how it came out. And I haven't even done any editing or anything yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might put footage of the games and stuff over this so that it's a little more cohesive and easier to understand. I think that's the best approach for this video uh it might take a little extra work but i have all day so <sighs> well guys uh, thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and share this video with everyone you know including your dog um square enix if you'd like to send me a ps4 and a copy of kingdom hearts 3 that would be super cool because i don't have a ps4 and i really want to play kingdom hearts 3 please <laughs> I know that it's hard to get deals like that with companies, but please, like, oh my goodness, that'd be insane if that happened. I'd be working with, like, one of my favorite companies and just kill me. I would die. <laughs> but, uh, thank you. I, I'm not saying anything like this is happening anytime soon. We don't even have 100 subs. But still, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Star Nari, but you can call me Chris, because that is my name. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. So, uh, signing off. And, um,. And it's just been... Listen guys, I have to be really honest with you guys, it's just...